ma femme qu'on crie le m'a regardé moi gentil mon a joué et moi et chaque les entrer là c'est comme si la kin tu viens dans nous tout espagne de berzi il fait nos ballons là son espoir pour les pour les enfants et pour pays notre The thing that I've I've noticed most has been the fact that people are so hopeful, which is, which I think is um, something that people don't see enough of. People forget that before the earthquake, in spite of natural disasters and political turmoil, Haiti had maybe for the first time in its history the chance to build the future it wanted. The earthquake resulted in approximately 300,000 deaths and injuries and killed more than 17% of the government's workforce. But somehow, in spite of these nearly insurmountable odds, people in Haiti and around the world started working together to rebuild. And for all the challenges, there has been progress. Haiti has a long and rich history in agriculture. Many of the traditional crops that can be grown here, limes, vetiver, coffee, castor seeds, are in high demand in international markets. Grand moins, te kon utilize ti l'huile maske ti pou le paye, mais nou pa te konnen si te ganye tout valeur sa. Si te kap devlope filière pou te rive ganye tout valeur kel ganye jodi an, se sa kem nou zanti pou gaj. We started with about two and a half and four acres, and now because of the demand that we're having, things are going better and we are spending. We're looking forward to have 15 to 10 more acres. So we need to have our own uh, plantation to ensure that our projection that is increasing from the demand that we are having right now. We can't invest in Haiti's future without investing in education. Yet 400,000 children in Haiti still do not have access to primary education. In 2012, we met a team that is trying to change that. When I came back to, to see where I could help from abroad, um, I stumbled into um, this community. And I found that there are many parents who don't have the possibility to bring a team to the school. And I said, I'm going to go to the school. I asked him what he needed um, to help those kids that he had already studied to help. We found this beautiful land where the school is now. Je dis à la, nous gagnons 380 mounes, nous gagnons 500 plats chauds, nous baillons deux fois par jour. The school really started like a whole movement within the community. It's everybody's school and village, which which is also heartwarming because everybody is really invested into this community. It starts with, it, with the school, with education from the bottom, and, and basically it carried on up. Haiti's vibrant culture is best reflected through its unique arts and handicrafts. By supporting Haitian artisans, we can create skilled jobs, celebrate the country's rich heritage, and bring a positive image of Haiti to the world. The first time I came to Haiti was in 2007. I spent a week in an orphanage because I was um, looking to adopt from Haiti. I just felt like there was a greater justice that needed to be served in terms of not just adopting and taking care of those kids, but providing opportunity for those parents who never have to relinquish their kids. We, we want to employ people who are not necessarily going to find jobs in a mainstream workforce. We provide all of the training for them so that they can work in the handicraft sector. Je suis prié mon Dieu pour travailler toujours et puis pour marchandiser toujours vendre pour me toujours capable de travailler pour me faire un petit corps pour me payer l'école. Si mon nom est avec des gens, il n'y a même plus pas comme ça. Je me sens qu'il y a des choses en Haïti qui sont prêts pour une nouvelle industrie, une nouvelle business qui sont uniques à Haïti. Haiti's tourism continued to grow in 2014, with more than a 10% improvement over the previous year. This means more jobs and more economic opportunity. I'm actually originally from Haiti, but I left when I was very small. I've always wanted to come back in, and I heard that the Marriott is about to open. So I said, okay, so it's a great opportunity for me. 
I did not know there were so many opportunities here in my field to be able to come back. I'm taking this as a starting point, really, to my career to expand my horizons. So by having the Marriott here, it opens door to show that there are a lot of great things happening in Haiti. But unless you are here to see it, to experience it, you will never know what's, what you're being missed out. The future of Haiti belongs to its people. We continue to see, hear, and feel their passion in making this future bright, and we are committed to standing with them as we all move forward together. I think that, that Haiti is kind of like the new frontier. You can sort of create yourself here. You can become an entrepreneur here. There are ways that you can grow into who you want to be and what your passions are. Il y a un autre qui dit tant de vie et tant d'espoir. Tant de fois que nous avons vie, nous avons espoir. Chaque fois que nous venons, c'est espoir pour te battre. Si nous venons, si nous faisons le mieux, nous gagnons plusieurs personnes qui travaillent. Les Haitian people sont très résilients. Despite les challenges, les gens ont la hope. So in that, that's why I'm very optimistic. I'm very hopeful that something, you know, very good can happen to this country. C'est pas avantage que nous nous, si nous pays nous, nous nation nous. Nous quoi c'est espoir.